Hi everyone, welcome back to OC Avery. I'm Oliver and in today's video, we're going to be looking at the diet change in preparation for the winter months and the show season for the British birds and the canaries. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe down below. Let's try and hit 10,000 subscribers before the end of 2022. In the breeding season, birds don't need a lot of fat on them due to warmer temperatures and longer daylight hours which they can spend feeding themselves and their youngsters. But now that the breeding season's over and the temperatures are really quite dropping and so are the daylight hours really shortening down, well it's been below 10 degrees and it's been rather chilly here over the past couple of weeks. So the birds need the insulation in fat, which is vital energy stores and insulation to make sure that they're kept warm through the winter nights. So we can't be feeding our birds cake and ice cream, but what we can be feeding them is seeds with a higher fat content than those in their basic diet. So I make up a seed mix in the winter months like this. It consists of various high fat seeds, such as Niger, rape, safflower, sunflower hearts, linseed, mung beans. There's a real variety of high fat content seeds in here and it works very nicely on adding a little bit of fat and extra weight to the birds to keep them warm but it also does help them for the shows as well. There are other benefits to these seeds such as linseed. It adds a nice glossy and waterproof finish to the birds feathers once they're done molting. Depending on how your birds are overwintered will change the volume of this seed that you should give your birds. If being housed outside with some exposure to frost, like my green finches in the outdoor flight, they may need higher volumes of this seed, especially if being housed in groups. If housed in groups in a bird room without the exposure to frost, you may need to offer lower volumes, maybe only an egg food draw once a week. If it's to a single bird being housed in a smaller cage for exhibition, then it needs even less. A finger draw should be sufficient enough to maintain the weight on this bird and make sure it maintains its posture and shape for the exhibitions. Please remember, this is an additive to their diet, so they should be given their basic seed mix at all times you may find that some birds hold the weight better than others. So you may need to amend the volumes as you understand that specific bird when you're housing them for exhibition. It's equally as important to make sure that you don't overfeed this mix. High volumes of fat in the diet of any bird, mammal, reptile or anything could cause problems internally further down the line. And remember, they will be harder to get fit and drop that fat in the breeding season. So I hope you have found this video useful today on looking at the diet we're giving the birds in the winter and throughout the show season. Hopefully it has been of use to you and you can pick up some tips from this. Now remember, Stafford National Exhibition is on the 2nd of October, so I look forward to seeing many of you there. I'll be showing in the British section, of course. We've got some display aviaries there as well. So plenty for you to check out and I look forward to seeing many of you there. If you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe down below and smash a like on this video if you have enjoyed it. And don't forget to follow us on our social media, OC Avery, on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. See you in the next one.